Hi guys and welcome to a new video today. As you saw in the title, this video will cover the usage of WebStorm as your web development IDE on the new Apple M1 silicon chips. This whole test is done on my very own MacBook Pro 13 inch baseline with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of SSD storage. So as you've seen in my previous video, uh, most of the applications are totally running fine. So I do expect the uh, WebStorm will run fine too, but we will give it a test. As always, I'm going to uh, Safari and search for WebStorm. It's uh, yeah, your JavaScript ID from JetBrains. I'm going for the Mac version, obviously because I'm testing on the MacBook. Uh, so the download is started already and I will catch you guys when the download is finished. Perfect, download is finished. So as always, we're gonna unpack the DMG and start the installation process. So the installation, quite simple. You just drag WebStorm into the applications folder. Then that could take up a little bit and it's already finished. So now we are going to start WebStorm for the first time. So yeah, sure, you wanna open it. I guess we are not giving or getting a, a short tour all right, license agreement, sure. WebStorm, yeah, we're going with the dark side, as you guys already know. Launch a script, create a specific for opening files. I don't want to do that. I don't want to install any plugins right now. I just want to start using it. All right, license situation. Okay, guys, I, I just enter my license because I don't want to uh, give away another email address to them. I already have one. So all right, I just entered my license and I guess it's activated now I'm not sure where About WebStorm Yeah, it is activated until June 2021, okay All right, so uh, I do have some JavaScript TypeScript projects already in this machine so I am going to open it. It's my portfolio, as you guys already know from the VS Code video. It's not a big project, but at least it is a project. Um, so we should see that everything is working basically because I mean, it's loaded up. Uh, the indexing is going on. Let's hop into app.js so you guys see it's javascript nothing special is going on there components about me uh, technologies looking good so far it's indexing some dependencies uh, the node modules should already be downloaded because i installed the npm package just before so i guess next step is after the indexing is complete to run the application within WebStorm. Yeah, that is exactly what we are gonna do right now. Run, no, not about me, portfolio. So that's a good question. How do you run things in WebStorm? I have no idea. <laughs> as, you guys, as you guys know, I'm literally trying out those programs the very first time in these videos. I've never done anything before with this. Tools, is there somewhere a npm start yeah come on all right now it seems to be firing up the terms over yeah all right and that is the build i mean i'm not sure if that's the way how you work with webstorm i guess it is somehow because in Visual Studio code it's pretty much the same except if you want to debug something then you'll connect your ide with chrome and then hitting remote debugging whatsoever in this case, I just opened it. Um, yeah, just for some demo purposes. My name is. Uh, let's make some amendments about me. No. Yeah, hello, I'm Patrick, a senior software engineer. Hello, I am Donkey Kong Jr. Uh, with Donkey Kong Jr., you will find me on GitHub. Yeah, on GitHub. About me. Adding description software engineer from Austria. I thought this should up. Yeah, okay, it's about me section. So, uh, absolutely my fault. So, here we see hello, I'm Donkey Kong Jr., senior software engineer from Austria. 
if we just uh, undo those changes, everything is compiled again and it's stayed in uh, Patrick again. So guys, I hope this video gives you an idea how WebStorm is working with this new Apple Silicon. Actually, it is working uh, just as, as normal, I would say. I've never worked with it before, but that's absolutely what I would expect. So everything is working fine, it's loading up, you can see the files. Uh, let's say if you do want to change some little bit here uh, Patrick uh, Strong Because we are going strong today All the completion is there And you see it's it's kind of bowed. So that's working fine Do I don't really don't have any complaints about this. So if you guys are using WebStorm mainly for or only for web development purposes, if you want to plan to buying uh, a new Apple MacBook with the M1 chipset, I do not see any any problems with it at all. So go ahead and buy it. If you do have the questions 8 GB or 16, I would say if you can afford it, go with the 16. If not, go with the 8. Totally no problem at all. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.